All right, crew members, welcome back to another video. Today, y'all, we're going to be cooking some pig feet. I know, I know. Everybody don't like them. I used to not like them, but, you know, things change, people change. Anyway, I'm going to be cooking some pig feet, and I'm doing it my way. So I just start off by cleaning these things, which are surprisingly pretty, pretty clean on their own. But I started off soaking them in a vinegar bath, let them soak for probably about... 10, 15 minutes in just the vinegar water let, you know, kind of anything that just want to release itself. Go ahead and release itself, and then I'm going to dump that water out, you know, at like so, you know. Then I'm going to go, and I'm going to fill the bowl back up with water. And then what I'm going to do is take a knife and try to scrape over just to get any excess hair. But as you can see right here, these are pretty clean, you know what I'm saying? There's not really any hair. I only had like one or two uh, piece because these are halves that I actually had uh, hair on and it was like like small spots but I, anyway for the sake of it I just did it anyway and um, I'm just going to score them, rinse them off again and then I'm going to place them in a pot and I just did this with all of these y'all, um, I didn't just I could have used my cleaver and cut these up into smaller pieces um, which makes it for easier you know cooking or whatever uh, but I just decided to leave these half and um, do them this way. And uh, you're gonna see why later in the video. So um, once I got them all scraped and cleaned, I'm gonna uh, fill my pot up with water. I'm gonna add a whole onion in there. That's a one whole uh, a yellow onion that I did not, I didn't cut up. And then I'm gonna add some salt and I'm gonna add a bay leaf. After that, I just clean my sink, you know, cause some people be like, hey, clean your sink. Uh, oh, yes I did. You don't have to show you everything, but Continuing on, I let this come to a boil, and I'm going to boil these for about an hour and a half or so, just to uh, break it down. Like I said, get some of the uh, excess fat and impurities out of there, and to really just kind of impart, you know, I just put the onion and the salt and everything just to kind of, and the vinegar to uh, add, add a little bit of flavor while they're doing that. Then I'm going to dump all that water off, and then I'm going to get a pot of a uh, little bit of hot olive oil. This is uh, more than enough for a saute, but I kind of want to be able to, um, I need some excess oil. So then I'm going to add my veggies in there, which is just red, yellow bell pepper and green bell pepper, and then I'm and, um, some red onion. Um, once I have those in there going for probably about a few minutes, I'm going to add my pig feet back to the pot. And this one I'm going to start to season. I'm going in with some no salt Tony's, y'all. I'm heavy handed with this. I want that Cajun flavor in there and I want it spicy. So kind of heavy handed. Then I'm going in with a little bit of Zatarain's uh, blackened seasoning. But then I'm going to go ahead and start to mix that in. I'm going to keep, you're going to see me keep mixing, mixing, mixing. And I'm going to let it sit and for a little bit before I add in more seasoning. Just, just so that skin can start to get caramelized. You know, this is pig feet. That's what it's all about. It's all about really the skin, you know. There's not much meat on these things. Anybody who eat pig feet know that. So it's really about the skin. So this is where I want the flavor at. So I just let it sit for a little bit after I stir it. And then um, we're going to go back <coughs> and start adding some more sea saltings. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of soy sauce. Y'all, this is low sodium soy sauce. That's what I have in my cabinet. And then I'm going to go in with some more dark soy sauce. This is a little thicker. And uh, trust me, these flavors are going to work well together. Then I got some no salt garlic and herb seasoning, which I'm very heavy on. Then I'm going to add some ketchup. I know y'all like, what? But I just wanted that little bit of tomato flavor in there. And that's what I decided to do. And then come behind that with a little bit of brown sugar. Not a whole lot. This is a lot of pig feet. So you saw the amount I used, which wasn't a lot anyway. So if you're using less pig feet than this, I wouldn't use but just like a little bit, especially if you're using the other ingredients. The sugar's already there, and I don't really want them sweet. I just want it like there to build a depth of flavor. Like I said, stir, let sit, let the oil kind of, you know, caramelize that skin a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in again with uh, some apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna be generous that I want a lot of apple cider vinegar in here. Not too much, but you know what I'm saying, just add more than a little bit. Then I'm gonna add my better than bouillon chicken uh, bouillon. And um, this is going to be really important for flavor, too. And then I'm going to go in with some cayenne pepper. Y'all heavy-headed. I want these spicy. Like I said, I was going for spice. If you don't like spice, omit it. And um, if you're following this recipe. But if you want to taste like this, just do what I do. And then I'm going to go again. Once again, stir. Let all those flavors get together. Sit in the oil. Cook a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with some hot sauce. Then I'm going to add 
my water. I'm just adding just enough water to get up to right below the top. I don't want the water covering because that's just too much water, but just right below um, where the uh, top of the pig feet are. Then I'm going to stir it again once to incorporate everything, let everything kind of, you know, get together. And then um, once everything's down in the pot like I want it, I'm going to cover it. Y'all, I couldn't pop my lid to this pot, and this is the next biggest size lid I had. So, hey, you, you work with what you got. And so um, after probably about, uh, this is looking probably about 30 minutes or so after that, I just went ahead and um, gave it another stir, covered it once more. Y'all, we had to leave, and so I did not want to leave my stove on, so I transferred this to a crock pot on low. And this is another reason why I left my pig feet uh, in the hash, because if I would have cooked them, if I would have cut them smaller, they would have probably disintegrated. Because even though my crock pot's on low, they still cook a little bit, you know, um, you know, faster than you want them to. And so this is the finished product, y'all. Um, I made some uh, potato salad and um, some fried cabbage to go with this, y'all. Made my wife some pork chops because, of course, she wasn't trying to eat these uh, pork trotters. And then, you know, this is to feed themselves along with the sauce that I made from what was left in the pot. Y'all, this is absolutely delicious to me. Hope y'all enjoy it. And um, we're going to catch you in the mukbang. I saw a post earlier that said there's two kind of people that watch Medea plays. The person that lets the song play. Or fast forward. <laughs> Baby, that works one for me. <laughs> and then that, <laughs> that family reunion, Jackie, I can't. Stop by hell. <laughs> I think what's going take on, no I like. Her. I won't take no more. Some of them is kind of bops low key. They are. Ain't nothing like I a think good man. I like that one too. Harmony, little harmony. Mm -hmm. We gonna stain it. Then we gonna varnish it. Then we gonna put some rhinestones on it and a disco light. It's gonna be sharp. He's gonna love it. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny. We're hashtag. 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 Hashtag the CCTV. <laughs> Okay, crew members, welcome back to our eating show. Sure. Today, guys, we're back with another Moot Bond Danielle. <laughs> well, let me tell y'all what we got. I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. You know, my baby, she was just begging for some pig feet, so you know I had to get in there. What the hell are you talking about? And I had to whip it up for her. <laughs> baby, nah, but y'all, we got some pig feet today. I don't know why, but I've been craving like crazy, like to the point that my mouth like salivated a little bit like. Mm. Oh, got it. Whoa. And so, yeah, that's what we got today, y'all. Um, showed y'all how I made these. And um, just also got some uh, homemade potato salad and some uh, cabbage, y'all. Guess what we're gonna be eating if this is your very first time on this channel. Thank y'all for being here. If you could, right, make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Also, hit that notification bell. Make sure you set your notifications. Also, you'll be notified every single time the cannons drop some heat for that ass. Oh, yeah. And remember to hit that like button, y'all. Remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the cannons are on the way to 100. So, that being said, tell a friend, tell a friend, and we appreciate y'all. We're going to go ahead and pray so we can get this food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food. We're about to see you, Lord. Let it be nice for our and bless us with less fortune. All these things we ask in Son Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Doug. Yeah, baby. So, I'm going to go ahead yeah, and put a little tater salad. Sure. Alright, y'all want to see the, the tater salad up close? There it is. There it is. You know what I'm saying? Made this earlier today, so it's had time to sit for a little while. And you know, get to know each other, each another. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, uh, yeah, it's some little baby pork chops over here for me. Because, oh, yeah. Um, I also cooked Danielle some pork chops on the side. Because he was so kind enough because mm, I don't do them foot. I know she did not want that. So no. Oh, you want to show this before I dig in it? Oh. I'm really digging. I mean, I was on a preview, but I just show you anyway. Little cabbage, little cabbage. Little cabbage greens. Baby, I ain't got advanced yet. This advanced pig eating. I can't. <laughs> that is advanced. This is looking good. I am. Food. 
Cheers. Mm. All right, y'all. This little sauce, little sauce. Mm -mm. I don't know why I'm so excited. Wait, no, I know it was some. Oh, you got it. I was about to say, where the Frank's at now? I know it's something back there. Y'all hungry. That frustration be setting in. I on. stole it. A little stuff, boy. I ain't even show y'all no food before I put the. You know what I mean? I know some of y'all like, ooh. Mm -mm. But. Y'all just gonna have to ooh today. I tried to eat one, I couldn't. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Y'all mm -mm. me spitting these bones out. Mm -mm. Just a bone. As long as you ain't too across the room, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> Everybody feels looks so good. Mm -hmm. and I was like, mm -hmm. and you said you only ate the pickled pig ones growing up, right? Yeah, I used to eat them, but those are like I, I I didn't like regular pig feet because they were soft. Mm -hmm. The pickled pig ones I used to get off the truck was firm, and he's like an all. And they just had that pickle flavor. <laughs> no. It was just different. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? What's all this? Huh? So this Asian girl eating pig feet. Oh my God, those look so mm -hmm. good. I will say she did make them look good. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. dim sum. Mm -hmm. I want dim sum. You said you wanted to try that with chicken feet, didn't you? Mm hmm I might give them a go. <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh -huh. It's just not so much. Know what to eat next? You tell what? I don't know what to eat next. Everything's so good. Bone at all. Not that I'm mm -hmm. mad. I said it looks like I ain't got a bone at all. Yeah. 
I know I'm fucking Tony's pig feet. Well, y'all don't see them other uh, pork chops. No. <laughs> Let me show you. They're so little, bro. <laughs> and look how thin they are. Turn them inside. They might disappear. God damn. <laughs> damn near. And what's bad, I need to let it. There you go. What's bad is that I have little hands, so. <laughs> bro. That's just how little they are. And it was two different Walmarts, wasn't it? They was like, we gotta cut that. Somebody must have told Walmart, because I always buy thin cut pork chops. But they never paper thin. <laughs> they just thinner than normal. Like, they not, they barely, they not that thin. Y'all done, done seen us eat them. Man. And they look. Mm -hmm. Then that first pack they bought you, what, it had three in them? So I mean, cause I had ordered, I had Walmart order for the first one. I was like, this ain't enough to feed nobody. <laughs> and then, so I had, we went a uh, day with a Walmart today. I told what to get. Mm -hmm. It was the same. Sure. They done told them, die y'all uh, blade. Okay. Die y'all blade back to 2.5. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going through too many chops. Mm. The thick cut, thick cut must be regular. <laughs> they didn't look that thick when I showed them to you on that camera. What? The thick cut, or oh, was that? No, that was the center. I don't even think I looked at the thick cut. Mm. When I go on Walmart, I'm one track mind to get out. <sighs> But I did get me two Walmart Moo Moo's for thirteen dollars. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and one of them will be gracing my body today. That one ain't had a single. It had like a little baby bone. <laughs> A little baby bone. So you want to try one? Hell no. You should have had the one I just had. It had some meat in it. Like it had a lot of meat in it. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it with my mind. <sighs> I'm getting full. I know mm -mm. that. Not already. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I saw a post earlier that said there's two kind of people that watch Medea plays or used to. A person that lets the song play or fast forward. <laughs> Which one are you? I'm an in between them. Yeah, I am too. Now, initially, it was FF, as my family says. But no, I don't want to hear it. All the fun, yeah. upbeat songs, gospel songs, I let play. Oh, yeah. But the ones, the, them original. I'm singing to you. I'm crying out. My heart is, is open. Baby, the worst one for me. <laughs> And then that, <laughs> that family reunion, Jackie, I can't. I, I, the, uh, the sad no, part I is. I can't do it. And I yeah. heard it play, but. The sad part is with those plays, you eventually play them so many times the way you just put them on for like background noise. Yes. And you end up learning all that stuff. Mm -hmm. All them songs that you don't even use to fast forward. Even though I think that your mama come find her remote if she had. If she up doing something, cooking. My mama is not listening to them songs. <laughs> like sometimes AJ and I can um I can't oh this one down on my luck. Like we can sing that song even though it's at the beginning, but she gonna fast forward at the beginning. I know she can't sing none of them songs word for word. Okay. Yeah, all them songs. Like, that, <laughs> that one day, what was I was watching with her? What's done in the dark? And Tamla Man sing Step Aside. And I'm like, Mama, you know this song. It's Did you hear it go bum, 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 bum? You know this. She talking about, oh, well, let it play. She was ready to go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, get that on out of here. Especially all them OG Magia plays. Mm-hmm. All that stuff I ended up learning. I know I used to fast forward too, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I know for a fact I wasn't going for that. They're like... <laughs> We just end up learning. Like the one out of um, Diary. What one is that? Um, 
with Homeboy. I know that used to be like the main <laughs> one I would fast forward. Um, um, Not when they was up there playing the game. No, um, no. Um, where did it go? Um, mm -hmm. Didn't want to tell uh, you, <laughs> but we've grown far apart. That one. <laughs> <That's the laughs> <shit>. Now I, <laughs> I know I used to be like, ready, like no. I know that whole song. Bye bye, Helen. <laughs> I think it was one I like. I won't take no more. I don't know which one this one is. Is it? Medea goes to jail, but bam, you gotta cook and clean it. I don't know why I like that song. Wash up everything. Some of them was kind of bops low key. They are. Ain't nothing like a good man. I like that one too. Little harmony, little harmony. Mm -hmm. As long as they can sing, which Tyler Perry, I think, did a good job of. Making sure these people could sing, but honey, my mom be like, it's too much. But look, okay. like you said, I'm gonna talk. No, mm -mm. Now, like I said, Jackie, I can't do that one. Mm -hmm. He hollering. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm good holler. Yeah, I got a limit though. <laughs> well, can't be eating too much of this. Um, this is probably my last one. <laughs> I don't know why I was craving so bad. This is a good. I'm full though, so it ain't like I can eat much more mm -hmm. anyway. I want some more potato salad. I need to that's, that's probably what's sitting on. I think I need to wait a minute. But yeah, some of them. Do you have like a favorite? As far as what? The plays. The, like the actual play? Yeah, not the movie, the play. Probably Family Union. The only reason I say that is because that's the one I probably have seen the most. Mm-hmm. I think I'm between that one. And meet the Browns. Um, that meet the Brown one is just so funny to me. <laughs> and every time I watch it, even though I've seen it a thousand times, yeah, I catch something I didn't hear before. But all those are my favorites in general. Oh, y'all, them first ones. Oh yeah, Matt Black, mm -hmm. Woman Family. I can do better all by myself. Classroom and mm -hmm. meet the Browns. Them was the ones. I used mm -hmm. to have them all on one disc. You did. Where did it go? You know, I used to play y'all. AJ worked night when we were first together. AJ uh, worked night shift on the swing shift. And so I was there by myself. And really, that was the first time I had really ever lived alone. Like, I lived with four other people growing up. And then I had sweet mates in college. Honey, I used to play them things for background noise. So I ain't hear stuff. Oh. That whole DVD, that whole thing be running. Everybody singing. Just going. <clears throat> that was on. Uh, Every night, AJ be calling me, talking about, are you watching my deal? Baby, these just play. Baby, how long is that? These just play. I play them at night. <laughs> Especially because I'm not really, I don't really watch TV like that, but that was perfect for me. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> you about took it. I guess I saw, I think the writer's strike is over, ain't it? I think the actor's still on strike. Uh, I think the writer's is over, mm -hmm. but the actor's still striking. Mm -hmm. Well, that video you played, who was that? Tatina Ono. Oh, yeah. She get, time I get them, um, yeah, a little more. <laughs> oh, one cent residuals? Yes, that one cent. See, now that's some bullshit. That's crazy. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Which we've heard Angel should start pulling them checks out when they um when they be on that podcast talking about let me show you what I got today. She be like thirty four second, two dollars. I'm like, like she was saying, um, the paper costs more than you printing this right. one cent check. I think it's crazy. Cause they were talking about like the streaming platforms has enabled them not to pay these people. Like people are getting way more as far as royalties go on the movies and shows before the streaming platforms. It's crazy. Like people are signing up and acting in these movies and um, they're not getting paid for them. Mm. And it's crazy to think that you're contributing to this 
when people are they being charged, you know, Netflix membership is up to what? What, 14, 15? Yeah, almost 20 hours, I think. I think so. Huh? And, um, which we have Peacock, and it's a little, it's a little expensive with the no ads. I'm just like, how many millions of people are out here? Like, and you can't, and then, but you can afford to give this. Uh, <clears throat> you can give one person ten million dollars for mm -hmm. one stand-up special. That's crazy. Insane. But you don't want to pay these other actors that that are um, for these movies and right. everything. Like, that's crazy. All these movies are being put in the rotation. And people are watching these things and the actors ain't getting paid for them. So let me be a little naive for a minute. <laughs> so, when these movies are played on these streaming services, it's just less money that they're getting because of that. Right. Or is whoever's the head of the movie paying this streaming service and... I forgot how it works, y'all. Some of y'all might know. I'm not gonna put my foot in my mouth on the video because mm -hmm. I'm. I'll talk about that after what I think it is. But um, what it's coming down to is it's like, however, royalties are traditional, pa traditionally paid. Mm -hmm. They don't have to pay them that way because mm -hmm. of the the way that the movie is. Uh, yeah, I think they're only getting really paid for like if it come on TV. The initial work. Oh, that's dumb. Does that work that way with music? Or as I guess every time it's screened, yeah, they're streams, getting... Yeah, streams oh, okay. is a little different. I'm pretty sure the music industry is still combating, you know, mm -hmm. things. But it's I think they've managed to get around, like, initially, like, CDs and piracy and all that. Because now, <clears throat> people, the subscription services or whatever are... um. Most most people don't mind these subscription services like Spotify, mm -hmm. Apple Music, and stuff like that. So, with that being said, um, people are uh, that's paying for these streams or whatever. If the and then these platforms, the, the artists are getting a certain amount of streams. These platforms are going to pay that artist more anyway. Mm -hmm. And then you know because they're keeping people subscribed. Right. I think the stream, the subscription services, is what help because. At one point, the music industry, because they weren't selling CDs and stuff anymore like that, and people were doing like illegal downloads and stuff <laughs> like that, that was really hurting the artists. Wow. But now, like the subscription, people are like are leaving illegal downloads because it's easier to just subscribe. It is. And you have your phone with you all the time now. You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't have a smartphone? in their pocket right. and it's easy if you if you have a uh, subscription you just go on there mm -hmm. hit the song and it plays right. automatically because it's on that platform and that deters people from wanting to go through all the trouble of having to just download something illegally mm -hmm. because you already got your phone most people got an iPhone in their pocket right. and even people who don't you know what I'm saying a lot of people are still there's just many people on Spotify there's people with iPhones on Spotify but I'm just saying like if you don't have Apple Music people have uh, Amazon Music and everything mm -hmm. like so it's just easier now, so the so the music industry kind of kind of they kind of like combated that. They were right. able to get around that because at one point they were like, you know, the artist is getting hurt mm -hmm, because probably. people were just downloading stuff mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying because you were paying ninety nine cent per song, whatever, and right. people was like, I'm not paying that. They're like, they rather just go download it mm -hmm, and put viruses on computer. <clears throat> that's what I, I don't know how many. I know my mama used to get sick of me and my brother. Between my brother downloading games he probably shouldn't have been playing and me on LimeWire, honey. She was taking that computer to Mr. Steve. I think that's what his name was. Mr. Steve and Moyak, honey, got tired of that modem being pulled up in his garage door, okay? She talking about they done did it again and he be weak because I'm sure that we want the only family that was doing right. that. He probably was making a killing. I'm sure. Because she be... She pulled time out. They done did Back it then, again. it was so easy to get a virus on your computer. Oh, no, yeah. And if anything, my brother with them games was probably getting it way quicker than me. Damn loving them lime and wires. Like I, and like I said, even now, like just because of streaming services and subscription services in general, I'm talking mm -hmm. about TV and music, movies and stuff like that, a lot of that has... You don't... How many... 
you know, most people who, if you're downloading programs on your computer, it's probably work related. Right. I know people still do gaming and stuff like mm -hmm. that, so the gaming might open you. But like a lot of times, like now, your computers and stuff like that, it's best to have antivirus software and everything, just right. because you know people send phishing emails and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But as far as like getting viruses through like downloads and stuff like that, it don't happen as much anymore because people are lazy. Right. And so <laughs> they just they got they you know I go on Netflix and watch what I watch. Mm -hmm. I'm not downloading movies. I'm not downloading songs. Right. You know, a lot of people are using their phones and they're on the iPads and stuff like that. There ain't nobody really, like, on their computer, like, mm -hmm. for downloads like that no more. So, right. it's, like, you just got to worry about, like I said, like, the gotchas, like, the emails and stuff mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> people over here, your Google account is going to be compromised. Right. And you, got, and you have to reset, reset your password right. information or any of your, and then first thing it tells you to do is any of your current Google account information. This is just gonna he's just giving your information to somebody right. for them to try to hack you. That's why two step verification and all that shit is mm -hmm. important. Because nowadays, man, you gonna get got, but I know at one point on Yahoo I kept getting one from uh Apple ID, I guess, telling me that um here is your receipt. And I'm like, I know I ain't purchased nothing. That's why I like and then it be like um talking about click this link to reset your password if you didn't make this purchase. Right. I know for a fact one, less one, I did not buy nothing. <laughs> and two, baby, I do when it asks for my card, I don't put it, okay? If there is <coughs> something I need to buy up there, I just won't have it. Because right. I in my car, I purposely have an Apple ID. On the, cause you know how you can have one on your phone, right? And then you can have one for the app store. Mm -hmm. My app store one has been the same one since I didn't have no money in college. So <laughs> my card is not a baby. Y'all lying, okay? And that's the fuck, cause most people, most people know already. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Most people know already. But this is for people who don't know. If you're a little naive and um, you haven't been hacked or experienced any type of thing like that, this goes for your, your Facebook, this goes for your Instagram, because how many people lose their Instagram and Facebook every mm -hmm. year? This goes for your Google accounts, your Yahoo accounts. Don't question whether, you know whether or not you did some, like, you know whether or not you, um like, whether you requested something mm -hmm. or something. They're going to send, people be sending out emails with stuff, sometimes just a, a shot in the dark just to see. They might not, you might not, they, you might not have a Wells Fargo account, but they might send you an email just to see. Right. And then if you do have a Wells Fargo account, they're like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to mm -hmm. have to redirect you somewhere that looks just like whatever. It'd be little telltale things that let you know this is Them not emails, official. But the end of the don't, email. And then sometimes <laughs> you go to them and they ask for your Google account. You're trying to sell something on Facebook and then they say, um, I just wanted to verify that you're... That, that, that your actual this or that or whatever. So it just if you enter if you if you click the link it'll just verify that you're an actual person. So I'm not getting scammed. But in the process they're scamming you because it's gonna redirect you to something and ask you to put in your Google information mm -hmm. just to uh for verification purposes. And really all it's doing is telling the other person your information. Right. Same thing with like those uh, those emails asking about you know, <clears throat> your Facebook uh, was compromised. This was mm -hmm. compromised. Compromise is a thing. Then it's always like or verify or uh, your or you were you were charged this for your lady for the for the for this subscription because they know people sometimes do subscriptions and forget about them mm -hmm. like on your phone and stuff like that. So it'll send you something and be like, you know, um, like as a receipt or whatever, and then you go to it and then. It's just all fishing. It's like, if you got to know that you know, like, how, like what you're doing on your phone mm -hmm. and stuff like that, don't feed into none of that. If you know that you didn't request none of this stuff and anything that directs you and automatically asks you for foreign credit card information, which we already know, mm -hmm. but even if it's just a login, like, don't just be logging in. Mm -hmm. to, like, <laughs> stop it. Not, because that's going to get you got. Mm -hmm. That's why even on Facebook, they send you, uh, People are uh, getting caught because there's there, uh, people are seeing something that look like from an official account or it'll say something like, as and you'll be like confused as to why all of a sudden it's asking you to reset your password or something like that on Instagram. Then all of a sudden you can't log in. Right. Because they done blocked you out of your own mm -hmm. account and took your uh, 
you know, people lose their Facebook and everybody, and they be on some, Turn it to crypto, that, Bitcoin. Right. <laughs> then all of a sudden, you know, you seeing all this stuff. Like, do not do entertain these people. If they send you something in your inbox. Now, every now and then, some people do be trying to reach you, whatever. They send you something in your inbox asking you, talking about, hey, you know what I'm saying, hey, cuz. Mm -hmm. See, what they do is, is they'll hack people that you already know. So then they'll uh, go to you. You thinking it's that person, but they page been hacked. And then that was the same thing they did to that person. They're about to do to you through them because you feel like you already got an acquaintance. And so, like, they might ask you if you can, like, can you check this out for me? I got I got this. Or I got this on uh, so-and-so. And you're like, sure. I'll go to it. And then they go to it and ask you to log into Facebook. You already logged in. <laughs> like, they'll be like, can you look at my page and, and tell me if you see so-and-so? And you like, sure, because you think it's somebody that you know, and you click on it and ask you to log in. Don't you log in, because you already logged in. Right. That's somebody who already not hacked them. You just don't know it yet. And so then they, they you they about to get your information. They about to steal your page, too, <laughs> and go lie to the next person. Crypto. Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get a money. <laughs> Damn shame. I don't know everything, but, you know. I'll I, I be catching all these scams. I'll be mm -hmm. shaking my head half the time when this stuff come through. I'll be <laughs> like, boy. Because out here, like, for real, if you're, not, if you're not really a technology person, like my grandma or somebody like that, like, you might easily be fooled. You might be like, well, why? I thought I was already logged in and you let me. Mm -mm. Don't do it. <laughs> if you ain't, I mean, if you got to question it, don't do it. Anyway, y'all, we is over today. Uh, thank y'all for joining today. Really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, y'all. Hit that like, uh, hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Also remember to share this video out. Share it with everybody because sharing is caring. Care about us. Care about us, y'all. We love you a minute. We're gonna catch you on the next video. Shout out to the crew. Right out to you. Bye bye. Peace.